you know, you know, I use that as my sword. I just put it like that. I keep a Bible in my hard head. That means I keep a ministry in my hard head. I keep my ministry in my hard head. Uh, my ministry is what God instilled in me. I am a living Bible. Uh, my hard head, that's because I'm in the trenches. You know, niggas are shooting for your head. Niggas aiming for your top out here. Uh, so I pay attention to what's going on. Anyway, watch this, y'all. Let me give you the game. It's my mood right now. Now, I know a lot of y'all ain't gonna appreciate what I'm gonna say. Uh, a lot of y'all be saying that nigga be kissing ass. That nigga be kissing that nigga ass, man. That nigga done talked about that nigga dead brother. Talking about his dying sister. Uh, uh, talked about his dead brother knowing that nigga gonna go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs about his brother. Who wouldn't? That's my brother, nigga. Yeah, nigga, you, 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 didn't get, you don't get it. Yeah, that's my whole brother. Nigga, a nigga that a, that a nigga will protect his name at all times. It's like a nigga, it's like a nigga breaking in your house. It's like a nigga breaking in your house. I, I believe anybody out there that lost a loved one, I ain't talking about a partner, or a, a nigga that got killed back in the year. I used to mean, you used to Jimmy, better not say nothing about Southern stuff. No, uh, you know what? I, I I never thought I'd see the day that somebody ever say something fucked up about AD, especially in these streets. Well, the streets ain't said shit. They know better, cause they in the streets. Uh, you can't hit what you can't see. All y'all do that nigga a ghost. He just appear on this internet to y'all, cause you would never be able to see him, touch him, or feel him. Uh. A nigga just like God to y'all. He come out of his little cave when he want to. And uh, everybody, it's, well, go ahead. That ain't nobody I want to see. But, shit, it don't matter because he can't see me either. Yeah, boss. Y'all will catch that later. He can't see me either. Fuck y'all talking about. But anyway, all y'all that's watching, Eyeball. Y'all y'all take this to heart. In, inside that in-house prison third community, I learned how to um, you know, I had I, shout out, shout out to a little white lady, man. She knows she is Miss Franklin, man. Uh, she took me under her wing, her and another lady, um, took me Miss Um, I'll catch her name in a minute. It took me under their wing, you know. The little white lady, she was short and she used to tell me all the time, you know, she's I used to think she would pick it and she'd sit there and stir at people and she was fine as hell. And everybody, she would always come get people and go take them. Say, come here, you, you come here and come go with me. And I said to myself one day, shit, I wish she'd come get in there and get me and, and tell me come go with her one time. You understand me and all. But the little, the little white lady, you know, she seemed racist, you know what I'm saying? To me, you know, you know, you know, you, you, know, you judge a book by a cover. She got that look in her face. She might be racist. She ain't gonna fuck with me. But, um. Cause she always come get the white boys. But one day she came around, she said, um, Percy? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, come go with me. I said, God damn, she called me to come go with her. I said, shit, I'm going. I said, she going. So me and her, we walked off, man, and she took me inside the place. And all. She said, no, I just, no, I'm just doing my necessity of you and she, you know, sit down and talk to you. We won't, won't, won't be here long, ask a couple of questions. Uh, when uh, she started talking to me, um, she was reading my, she was reading me, you know. She said something about me was interesting. She didn't know, but uh, she knew I wasn't well learned when it came to books, but she knew I had some kind of sense in my head, you know. The white lady came, you know, dropped me off. She came back the next day and came and got me again. The very next day, I like, <laughs> two days in a row, she come and get me? Y'all keep something going somewhere with this. Y'all stay right there. I can't, I can't give you, I can't give you me if I don't give you my resume. You hear me? I can't tell you nothing if I don't tell you my resume. Y'all keep up and y'all gonna catch the balls at the end. But anyway, I used to go with the white lady every day and what she taught me how to do, she said, Percy, I see what's wrong with you now. Um, and she read me very well and she said, you have no education, but you're trying to say some things and you can't say what you want to say because you don't know no words to say them in. So you cuss her, and that's why you cuss a lot. I was wondering why you cuss all the time, because every time I heard you talking, you kept cussing. And she was right. I never caught that about myself. Um, but the white lady caught on real quick, and she said, why do you cuss so much? 
And I didn't know why. She said, well, I can tell you why. She said, you cuss because you don't have words to put in them places to replace those spots. And so you use cuss words. Uh, you need to learn to some more words. You need to get your education up. Woo, woo, woo. So you'll stop cussing in those plots. And she said, you're trying to say the right thing, but you keep cussing. And then she said, I'm going to show you how to belittle a person without using one cuss word. Uh, what that mean? What, what is belittle? She said, I can make a motherfucker feel this small without even cussing them out, without using one cuss word. I said, hell no. And so um, at this time, she was doing a confrontation with a guy. She had a confrontation with a guy, and the guy was to come in and sit in the confrontation room, and um, she was going to have to blow him out. Um, you know, a confrontation was regular, but a blowout is when she raised her voice and get aggressive and, and blow him out, get, get up on him. And she told me, sit down, Prince, I'm going to show you just how, how this done. So I sit in the corner, and, and I wasn't allowed to say nothing. I feel special. I'm in here with the, you know, the pretty little white lady that I thought was racist. She come and get me every day just to sit down and show me how to maneuver. And one time, she brought this black guy in there. Uh, uh, his name was Anthony Crenshaw. Uh, and she had to blow him out. And I knew Anthony was crazy as a motherfucker. I said, ooh, that's Anthony. So I sit in the corner like it wasn't nothing. She went in there and she went the fuck off on Anthony. She came from around her desk. His job was to sit there. He only had one reply. And that was, yes, ma'am, I get on top of that. That's all he could say after she finished with his ass. Anything else will lead you in more trouble. You only have one answer when you leave that goddamn office when she finished blowing you out. And that's, yes, ma'am, I get on top of that. Pull yourself up. Anybody that's ever been through a therapeutic community program or anything into the prison system know what I'm talking about. She had to pull him up. Not push him up, pull him up. But anyway, I learned that part of the program to say this, to say that I learned how to read characters. I learned how to read people uh, very well. Uh, I, t I went to that program and I, I ended up graduating out that program with fine colors uh, without even knowing how to read. Because one thing I learned about that program it was your ability to know how to think like others. Uh, put yourself in their position. See where they're coming from. The pull me syndrome. Uh, shit like that. Right now, uh, 911, y'all. This guy right here, I've been, I looked into his eyes the other day and I looked in his eyes and I, and I, I analyzed and I did me a test while I was playing chess. Because when you play chess, you know, let me tell you something. When you play chess out here in the world, your eyes can give up moves. For all chess players, y'all know, y'all keep up with me. If you're a real chess player, we've been playing. All you people that slow on chess, don't know the game, this ain't for y'all. you never get in here. You got to know the game of life. You know, that's how, you know. But anyway, I can still give you the game in chess, and you'll, you'll, you'll go and get your chess board just to learn it because the way I tell you how it's played. It's the game of life. But anyway, in the game of life, sometimes you can stir the nigga and tell what's on their mind. You can look at a nigga and tell if he happy. You can look at a nigga and tell if he, if he mad. You can look at a nigga and tell if something wrong with him today. Uh, you can look at a nigga and tell something. He weary. And sometimes them eyes will drop a tear and you can tell he's hurt. Uh, you, have to, you have to know what you're looking at when you're looking at it. You dig what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all ain't going to follow me, but everybody that listens to me know how to keep up with OG person because I talk different. Uh, 